happy new month uh, to you guys that was ibrahim Danko you saw at the start of today's video he was at the signa aduna park borussia dortmund was celebrating 25 years since winning the champions league and they were celebrating the eight seasons of a bundesliga trophy as well with the, some of the veteran players who were in for the team during that period of success. Ibrahim Danko was part of that golden generation in 1997 that won the Champions League. A coach of the Ghana Black Stars now in Otoado was part of the 2001 team that won them the Bundesliga. It was a great weekend uh, for these legends of Ghana football and German football club, the Borussia Dortmund. And it was great to see them in action. They played a the game to welcome some of the new signings uh, to the fans at the Signa Duna Park played in front of a, of a 60,000 capacity stadium and it was great to see all of them in action. Today we'll talk about a bit of that in there. We're also going to talk about the new dates for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. After a cup uh, decided to postpone it, September will be free. What will happen then? When will the match day three and four be played? Five and six. When would when will it be played? We'll look at all that uh, today as well. We're also going to talk about Lawrence Atizigi. I know he's been getting some stick here on this channel. Atizigi did marvelously well over the weekend. We'll have a look at some of his highlights. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. This video is sponsored by Casa Preco Company Limited. If you want to be able to support the Ghana Black Stars in the end of the year at the World Cup in Qatar, buy any one of our week a drinking water, a storm energy drink, and Puma drink. On the neck, uh, there is a code. Enter it into star 780 hash. Choosing option two, you enter that code there. You could win instant prizes and possibly get an all expenses paid trip to watch the Black Stars in Qatar. Without much ado, let's get into it. But don't forget to subscribe our SF Sports channel. Commonwealth Games is currently ongoing, and unfortunately, Ghana's athletes are not doing well. Fortunately, however, Nigeria have secured two gold medals. I'll be talking about them later on today on that channel. Don't forget to subscribe to SF Sports. So let's get right into it. And we'll start off from the camp of uh, uh, Coach Otoado and Ibrahim Tanko, who were in action uh, for their former clubs. So Otoado for Dortmund, Ibrahim Tanko also for Dortmund over the weekend. It was to commemorate 25 years of winning the Champions League trophy and eight seasons of Bundesliga success. Some of the players that did well were there. Mal Al Malam Yaya was also one of the players who did well uh, for but Borussia Dortmund winning them the Bundesliga title 95 and 96 or Toado in 2001. It was great to see this legend in action. But over the weekend, one name that was uh, over uh, was Kudus Mohamed, who did amazingly well for his club side. But another Black Stars player who got a sick in the last international break in Atizigi. Uh, did himself some word of good. A great fine display by Lawrence Atizigi for his club side uh, St. Gallen. Uh, they won the game and Atizigi put in an amazing performance. A man of the match display uh, to inspire St. Gallen to a victory over FC Zurich in the Swiss Super Cup. And now the Ghana goalkeeper was sensational, keeping a clean sheet as St. Gallen won 2-0 despite having a man sent off in the second half. Atiziki made 11 saves, seven of which came outside the box, uh, mostly from close range. He earned a 9.7 rating from Sofa score. And now the 25 year old was literally the C reason Zurich didn't score, despite the away side having the better chances in the game. Zurich had 58% possession, 21 shots, 5 more than St. Gallen, and 11 shots on goal. But St. Gallen won thanks to Julien von Moore's brace and Atizigi's save. Atizigi has yet to convince the Ghanaians, owing to his struggles uh, when he gets the nod to start in goal for the Black Stars. By his performance, on Saturday justifies his consistent 
collapse. Without a doubt, Atizigi is one of Kane's good goalkeepers. He will eventually start producing fine displays, hopefully for the Black Stars. He's absolutely confident that he will be named in the national team for the World Cup come November. But it is anyone's guess who exactly uh, the three goalkeepers will be. Well, we know who we would choose currently based on form. But Lawrence Atizigi, some redemption there over the weekend. Uh, a great display uh, from him to get his side over the line in the Swiss Super Cup. What do you think about him? Redemption enough to get into Qatar or hold on for now? And my next story has to do with the CAF, the Confederation of African Football. They postponed uh, the African Cup of Nations qualifiers and given new dates uh, for the games to be played. Uh, match day 3 and 4 and match day 5 and 6. Now, according to CAF, this n was necessitated. The shift was necessitated by the Executive Committee's commitment to make room for the African nations that have qualified for the World Cup. That's Qatar 2022 in November and December. Now, consequently, the September 2022 African Cup of Nations match day 3 and 4 will be moved to 20th to 28th March 2023. And March day 5 will now be from the 12th to 20th June 2023, while March day 6 will be on the 4th to 12th September 2023. The African Cup of Nations will be held in uh, January 2024 now. Those are the new dates uh, for it. So uh, there will be no games confirmed officially. The communique has come out uh, from CAF on that front. Uh, Ghana goalkeeper, former Asante Kotoko goalkeeper Felix Anand over the weekend uh, got his very first uh, trophy in the United States of America. He won the Mid-Atlantic Region Independent Cup with his current side in uh, Maryland, here in the United States there. Felix Annan getting his hands on his very first trophy. Kudus Mohamed has become a person of interest uh, for club side uh, Tottenham Hotspur. According to reports, uh, coach Antonio Conte is monitoring the situation with Kudus Mohamed and his Ajax side. Over the weekend, he was a substitute on the bench despite doing so well in preseason. You'd wonder why he did not start for them. Uh, is anyone's guess why he didn't? Uh, but Kudus Mohamed is one who is being monitored by Spurs and th possibly could move to that club. What do you think about it? Uh, we'll see. We'll be monitoring that situation and you can be sure that if and when it does happen, we will report it first, confirmed here. Yeah. So that has been it for today. Talking about Ibrahim Tanko and uh, Coach Otoado over the weekend at Borussia Dortmund Signal Duna Park, commemorating 25 years since winning the Champions League in '97 and the eight seasons they've won the Bundesliga trophy. A great occasion for the legends to link up. Also, we've been talking about Kudus Mohamed possibly going. Uh, to Tottenham, St. Gallen man Lawrence Atizigi doing himself a world of good redemption ahead of the World Cup in Qatar, maybe, and CAF's new dates uh, for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week. <music>